We switch to flee. Well, for the most part. Hey guys and hey guinea pigs. I'm Nugget and Fitzy. And Lulu. We have some exciting news because your Zoo Plus package is coming tomorrow. Yeah, that's a video for Saturday. Actually, that's not what I want to say. But that is pretty exciting for the guinea pigs because they ordered a bunch of stuff on Saturday and I just received a notification that their package is on the way. So I think the guinea pigs are going to be really excited to unwrap it. But our actual news are we switch to fleas. Well, for the most part. <laughs> but you can see we have three and a half fleece liners on the lower level, one fleece liner on the mezzanine, one on the upper level. And before that, we usually had like one and a half fleece liners on that side and then bedding on this side. And we switched to fleece. We're trying it out. It looks an absolute mess, which is probably one of the things that I'm not, which I think. I just think that's a downside of fleece because it very quickly looks a mess, but we're ready for some changes around here. Fitz, are you liking the new fleece? <laughs> I don't think she means to say no. Let me just quickly do a clean up and then I will talk to you about why we decided to go for full fleece. Okay, if you're new to having fleas, this is called a horse blanket wash bag and is an absolute game changer. This is something I've discovered. I think one of my subscribers posted a comment on one of my videos once and told me to get one of these because they saw me vacuuming and trying to individually pick out all of the fur from the game pigs, like from a fleece item, and they told me to just get one of these bags. And it's an absolute game changer because you put all of the stuff in, you zip it up, put it in the washing machine and like all the dirt, all the fur, just everything that you don't want in your clothes stays in this bag and your washing machine stays clean. This is the best thing if you don't want to have two washing machines basically. I really cannot recommend this enough. This is the best thing that you can buy if you want to try out any fleece items, not just fleece liners, but if you have like fleece tunnels or anything fleece, get one of these bags. I have one link down below in the description box. Nugget always gets a serious FOMO whenever we start cleaning the cage. Oh no, Nugget, I'm taking away all of the mess, I know! Careful, Nugget! <laughs> Nugget! Okay, at least this part of the cage looks way better now. Unfortunately, the guinea pigs have managed to pull all the hay out of the hay rack, so this side still looks a little bit messy, but the feet liners are actually pretty fresh. And then you can see the bedding 
guinea pigs have barely touched. And then this carrot Heidi is an all-time favorite of the guinea pigs. And then this hat they love as well. But the carrot Heidi, my mom got them this, I think, for a pigmas a couple of years ago. And this is <laughs> like really one of the guinea pigs' absolute favorite thing. It's it's great. It's a tunnel. It's made out of fleece. It doesn't really fold into itself when one of the guinea pigs jumps on it and it's extremely fluffy. You can see it's really, really thick. So this is a surprise in case one of the guinea pigs go up there. thought about throwing out these branches because we've had them in the cage for like a year or one and a half years, but I just saw Lumi chewing them a couple of days ago. You can see Lumi really did a lot of work. So I guess they'll stay in the cage. So why did we change to fleece? One of the big reasons is probably cost. So we always have a special dust extracted bedding. It's actually horse bedding, but it's pretty fine and not really coarse. So it's really great for the guinea pig's feet. And the dust extracted part is just really important because if a, your regular bedding is not dust extracted, like your guinea pigs are this close to everything with their nose and it's really bad for them to inhale stuff that is extremely dusty. So if your guinea pigs just keep on sneezing after you change out the bedding, your bedding might be too dusty. When we built this cage two years ago, I think the price of this bedding was like at 15 euro or 15 80, something like that, definitely below 16. And it's gotten to a 23 or 24 euro now. Just within two years, Prices have increased so much. I'm not really sure it's worth it, to be honest. Like, the bedding is nice, but um, we need an entire package basically a month um, for half of this cage. So I feel like the price is not really worth it. I mean, everything has gone up price-wise, like vegetables as well, but I feel like this is just beyond inflation. This is just... <laughs> Someone just really trying to make a quick buck. That definitely was one of the big reasons. Oh wow, Fitz is trying to get in that hay rack. This is the only guinea pig, by the way, that does not fit into the hay rack. The other reason is just that even though the bedding is dust extracted, you definitely notice that we have more dust in the living room, more dust than we have in any other room in the house. So we wanna give Fleece a try and like try to see whether it makes a difference, whether we have less dust, so whether the dust comes from the bedding still being dusty or if it's just, you know, all of the fur of the guinea pigs, the droppings, the guinea pigs, the hay, that is also something that just creates a lot of dust. So when I shake out the fleece liners or clean them, there's also dust in the air. So we want to give this a try around for a while and see whether we find it's a lot of work cleaning everything, whether we notice a noticeable difference in the room, like cleaning-wise, dust-wise. And then another reason is that just, you know, going through an entire package, like an entire 24 kilo package of bedding in a month means that you produce a really out-of-this-world amount of trash and nugget has found the Really a ton of trash and we are trying to reduce this. I let you know how this works out. I've always loved having like one half bedding and then one half fleece just because like it's really nice. Bedding has certain advantages over fleece I find, like it looks clean longer. With fleece I feel like you really have to clean it twice a day, at least with my guinea pigs because it just, it looks messy pretty fast and you see all of the droppings. Whereas with bedding, the droppings just kind of go into the bedding at first. Yeah, so... <laughs> that kid was burning. I also like how fast I was changing half of this cage and I'm just popping it in the washing machine and then it's done. Fits again living the hay life, wearing a nice flowery crown <laughs> and dropping the water everywhere. Fits, have you found a new ID? Look, there's a Yes, Fits, you found it. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> and hay goes everywhere. This looks pretty stoked to have fun and stuff. For some reason, guinea pigs just love to sleep there, like with their head kind of 
in between the level and the mezzanine. I guess it might be because sometimes the guinea pigs basically get pixie dusted, so my toddler will just randomly drop pink flakes on them. <laughs> so I think this is just the best spot for eating them. So that it did fit just pee on you. That is very unfortunate. I'm sorry that happened. Well, this is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll keep you in the loop when it comes to the fleece versus bedding question. I hope you enjoyed this video. And see you guys next time. Bye.